Hi everyone. Hi y'all. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Totten Bags. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for coming back. Um, I, did, I forgot to tell you, we hit 4,000 subscribers. Ooh, no, you tell me only. Oh, okay. yeah. I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot, you forgot, yes. <laughs> wow. Thank you everyone wow, for subscribing. Thank you. And thank you for watching and coming back every week. Um, we are... If you're new, we are a floss tube. Sorry, I get excited. We are a floss tube channel about cross stitch. Uh, we are cross stitchers ourselves, mm -hmm. and we are owners of. Currently, we are owners of an online shop. Yes. Ready to be a brick and mortar in in the process. In the process of, of yeah. yeah. And so we'll we'll give you guys a little bit of updates as we go along this process of of getting a shop ready. So um. Um, you know, I'll, we'll talk more about that later because we need to get to our schedule. That way I won't mess it <laughs> I'm up. I'm thinking you are out of the schedule. <laughs> I, I just, you know, it's it's a lot of fun things going on thank this you, week. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout outs. Uh, uh, no, we have an interesting mail delivery. We got our Christmas Halloween card. Yes. <laughs> All right, no shout outs? Not uh, we'll do it after. I want to do okay. the cards. I want to do the cards first because this was, you know, it's... Yes, we sure. want to thank you, Maria. She sent us this beautiful uh, Halloween card. And uh, we got it... A couple days ago. Yeah. She did send it to us in October. October so... 26, and we yeah. got it uh, yesterday. Before yesterday or yesterday. Yeah. My head is crazy. But um, yes, I was posting in, in uh, Facebook to asking everybody to be patient with the post office yeah. because they are working, uh, poor Kimberly, she comes late every day mm -hmm. and it's dark here. Yeah. Well, it gets dark early. Uh, I saw an email from the post office that said, please be kind to the carriers. And since it's getting darker, could you please turn on your porch light? Mm. That way, you know. Mm, I don't see that. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And uh, please be patient. And when they come into your door, you are in home, please give them something to drink because they have long days. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Bottle of water, a bottle of drink goes a long <laughs> way. <laughs> no wine. <laughs> oh, this is new. I don't see yeah, this Yeah, this one. is uh, from, this is a Christmas card from Kathy. Kathy, yeah, so thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Kathy. That's so pretty. And I have another one. What is the other that one? That was this one. No, I have another card. Oh, I didn't see it. This is Maria. Yeah. Thank you for the lovely uh, letter, too. Yeah. If and we find it, we'll show it next week. I have another card. I have it ready, but I don't, I don't know where to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's do our shout outs. Uh, we have uh, three fellow cross stitch floss tubers that watched us and shouted out, uh, shouted us out. So we will in turn shout you guys out. Um, the first one is the Stitching Duo. It's a mother son um, team. Uh, they're in two different locations, so it's a split screen. Sometimes they're together. Once or I've seen them. Yeah, when they visit, when they visit, they'll do it together, yeah. which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, very, you know, it's fun to see a different dynamic in um mother son cross stitching um than what you normally see so i, I love it i miss it that one because yeah. i know i know how time for watching bts all right well have to, yeah. you'll have to watch that tonight yeah all right and the next one is uh motor city stitchers thank you thank you and then we have uh angela loves to stitch this new i never no saw. she's she's shot this out before um mm. you'll know her you don't know her name here, but you know her. Okay. <laughs> know her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very bad with the uh, flush tube names. Yeah. I can even remember Caroline's look. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So that's our shout outs for this week. And we will tag them in the drop down menu. So if you wanted to know what their, their um, channel names are, it'll be in the drop down. So you can go check them out. And, um, and I think you'd, you know, just expand your um, floss tube watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Zhao. Thank you. And so we'll do that later. And now we have... Finishes. Finishes. Of course you have finished. <laughs> I know. I know you have finished. Please. Yes. <laughs> How many? 
Oh, well, look, I do have a finish. <laughs> All right. So I finished, because uh, this month is Shepherd's Bush, is our designer focus. I've already stitched two, finished two. So this one, this is my second one. This is Thoughts of Halloween. And it's stitched with the called for threads, one thread over two on 32 count. And it's on the called for fabric, um, French Country. And it's by uh, Witchelt. So it's it's a not an over dyed. It's just the called for fabric, and and this is you know what I thought that all of Shepherd's Bush had a little sheep in it, and normally they're known for the little sheep, but apparently I found the one that did not have a sheep in it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I do love the little moon button there. It's super funny, super fun. But yeah, so um, this was a really good one, it, even though it's a lot of stitches. It's only done with one thread over two, so it's it's nice and um, it was it was very easy to stitch. Yeah. All right. So that is my finish. Um, whips, whips. Let's see your whip. my whips. Whip, 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 All right. Whip, whip I good. stitch a little bit this week. I not stitch too much. Um, Mm, I'm go first with no 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 do the whip and it will do the okay sound. all right I work on fox and rabbit Karen made this shirt for me hearts for Ronnie and I work on Jean on Princess Leia oh, yeah. yeah so if you haven't watched before <laughs> this um are our two babies this is Ginger and this is Princess Leia so this is what they look like and Karen made the pattern look just like them yes. Yes, and um, I'm stitching this one in um, mm, Fabric by Stephanie, Polar Plunge, 18 counts. Mm -hmm. And, okay, Princess Leah looks exactly like this. I mean, Karen did an amazing job. Yeah. Um, we did change the tail a little bit. Because Jerry helped me to change the tail. Yeah. And I contact Karen and I said, please don't be upset. Yeah, because Princess Leah doesn't, or not. she doesn't have a cutoff tail. She's got a long curly tail. Yeah. Um. So it's her, she's a bit and, wispy. And I did, I did a uh, back stitch in the tail because it's, oh, you did? it's long, but I remove it because I don't like the look. Oh. I just leave in the long tail. Yeah. Yeah. That is. It's like they could just jump right off the, one, the fabric. And there, my boot, boot towel. No, it's Christmas. Uh, hashtag Ronnie socket to me sal. I cannot say all the words together. <laughs> <laughs> but um, star last Friday or Saturday? The first one. Mm -hmm. The first Friday. First Friday. Yeah, and it started. Then it started. Yeah, you, you showed it last week. Do I show it last week? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do it after the no, video. I think it was, I remember seeing no, it last week. No, I have, I make around five or six stitches just to start oh, okay. before the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I did 360 stitches on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I go back mon next Monday because last, let's, last time. Let's see what looks like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Last time I stitched it was on Friday because it was the first one, mm -hmm. the first of the month. Oh, okay. And, but I'm going to stitch it on Mondays. Okay. Now, the, you know, what? every Monday I'm going to stitch and then I can show you guys on Friday. Okay. I do my 300 stitches start Monday. That way you can yeah. work on something else if you want to. This one way. was very easy when I'm figure out I was a stitch a stitch a stitch and when I figured out I had 300 stitches in no time yeah. 360 yeah. in no time and I said okay because regular on regular charts and do 100 stitches when I'm a day right well because if they're filled in you you work that little square and you're like, okay, I had to focus on that square. But when you're when you're running down this way, you kind of get carried away with stitching and you forget how much that you did more than you expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, that is my my, whip, my okay. style. All right. 
So I'll show yeah. I'll show my hashtag Ronnie Sakatumi Sal piece. I'm stitching uh, Olga's autumn stocking because I've already got a Christmas stocking. So this is what I'm stitching by Plum Street Sampler. And I'm stitching it on 36 count um, Patriots Brew by R&R. &R. And because R&R &R fabric is not um, shrunken really <laughs> hard, I'm actually able to use two threads over two. So I'm getting very nice deep coverage. And this is where I'm at. So it's pretty much gonna be this wide. That is this it small. It's it's long and skinny. Oh, it's long. It's and very skinny. long. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be oh, a nice okay. cute little fun stocking. The house, see the house kind of like fades away there. On my fabric, it's gonna pop because you're gonna be able to see the white house. Mm. So I'm mm. I'm excited for that. So um I I'm estimating roughly what I did stitches here. I know I did like at least 400. You did 400 I, last week. Yeah, and I did 400 this. So I did the cat and then I mean? did the moon, the moon, the pumpkin thingy. And mm -hmm. then I think I did this little piece here. Yeah. So um, I have to do 400 because my piece is so big to make sure I can get closer to the end. Yeah. And now um, it's a lot of beautiful stockings progress and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I love see the post. Yeah, I don't make comments mostly the time because I just running looking and and giving love and, and, heart. and hearts. But I almost not do comments because it's taking me too much and I'm cut to running and running. <laughs> I'm the runner, yeah. always running. Yeah, but I love every post. I love every. Um, progress in your stockings yeah all right and then yeah. so my my other whip since i since i know this this month is shepherd's bush i've already done two starts and two finishes and so i thought i would go ahead and give one of my um favorite whips some love this month and i want to try to get her finished this is world holiday by mirabilia wow and she's on 28 count anubis by under the seas fabric oh my god and um it's mostly all down here is what I'm working on. I think I've got like, there's red here and then there's a lot of white here and then there's crinic and beading to do and she'll be done. So um, I'm hoping I can get her, actually, I definitely will get her done this month. I'm just not sure when. Wow, she's gorgeous. Yeah, because this week I, I finished up, it was like a big chunk right here of her dress that I finished up. So I'm coming around and I'm not using Whisper in the in the coat part here uh i'm i'm using a different uh thread and i'll talk about it after the after it's finished so yeah. that is my whips and then we have a little bit of news okay did you have any starts first no starts no no starts no starts all right so we have a little bit of news we got some uh ad money from um youtube uh, this month. Oh, I see the Yep. So the I did, um, we, we split it between the two. We split it between our two charities, St. Jude and Schreiner's Hospital. So mm -hmm. we'll post those a uh, little, um, thank you from them at the end of the video. If you want to go look at that, that's fine. Thank you, Yao. Thank you. Thank you for watching this. You know, when, um, we used to get the money from them like every couple of months, but lately it's been like two months in a row. So I think because our viewership is up and our comments are up. And I don't know how I don't that works, but I don't know. It's, it's all, all about y'all. Yeah, it's all complicated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. fun. And again, yes. thank you guys because of you, we're able to give to those charities. Yes. All right. Um, I wanted to show um, the fabric and the floss of the month since it's after the fifth. I wanted to show what the colors were this mm. time. Um, if I remember, I want to try and do this every time. So uh, if you're in the Fabric of the Month Club for Atomic Ranch, this was the Atomic Ranch color and it's called Weathered Stone. And it's it's mostly a white, but it's got a little bit of um, gray yeah, undertones. Gray and I'm trying to get some of the... Yeah, but would you do it too fast? Uh, okay. You, there you is. never forgot it. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of, to me, I see gray undertones, but I think it's actually gray. 
I'm, we're looking at this one right here. And, yeah, and this other color here is from the Fabric of the Month Club for Fox and Rabbit. And it's called Elephant Run. So it's a very, um, very lovely gray color. And then these are the threads for this month's um, Cottage Garden um, threads. And month. yep, I just, okay. So the colors this month are all related to Christmas. Uh, I can't read them from here. Let me pull it back a little bit and I'll read it. So we've got uh, burgundy, mistletoe, candlestick, spruce, and plum pudding. And I'll show, pull it back up there. And that's why when uh, when I showed this pattern last week, I said I was kind of hinting to these colors. I think um, if you use one of each one of these colors on one pillow, you'll pick one that you're not gonna use, but um, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. When you read what's on there, like like this one says caroling candlelight, I would probably use the gold candlelight. And then the one, there's one that says mistletoe, I would probably use the mistletoe. And then um, mulled wine would probably be the, I don't know, I'm thinking of the plum pudding. I think the plum pudding for the mulled wine. Oh, no, 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 mulled wine would be the burgundy. And plum pudding would be uh, the one that says pudding. So they kind of got the names on there. So I so I figured then it, it would be fun to do that. And I'm thinking of stitching it on the um, weathered stone. Mm -hmm. So I think these little pillows would look really cute. And then that's one way to play. They're not very big, but it's one way to play with the colors and, and enjoy them. Yeah. So. Or you could just stitch it in all red like they did. I think they used one color. But I like... You know, you've got the college garden threads, they're, they're grouped together, so yeah, then you can kind you of make can a do cute grouping. Burgundy. burgundy is very cute for that, too. Yeah. But I just like the idea of burgundy. using, you know, the, the little piece. You put this charm more close to the yeah. camera. The little piece says mistletoe in there and candlelight and pudding. And I thought that would be very fun to use the threads that say mistletoe, pudding, and um, candlelight. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like I like the idea. Yeah. Um, so we did make a, a mistake. I made a mistake last week. We said that the bag sale was on the 8th of December, which no, was a I Saturday. Say it. Oh, you said it? I thought I said it. No, it was me. Okay. So yeah. it's actually the 9th of September is, is a Saturday, not the 8th of December. So we have made corrections in our Facebook group. Um, so if you're watching this Saturday morning or Friday night, the bag sale is on Saturday, the 9th of December at 2 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. We have on Fridays, we always put the bags up on the website for you guys to look through and find out which ones calmly look through them. And then at two o'clock, you can click quickly pick. We'll put the quantities on there and you can pick which ones you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, right now, they'll all show sold out, but they're but that's until the sale starts. Yeah. All right. And I think that shop date. Now we got what's new in the shop. What is new in the shop? We do the fabric first. Yes, it's fine. That way we won't we won't forget. <laughs> we go have we have in Atomic Ranch Willow. A little back. You can get in the shadow. It's very pretty mint very green. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This is Willow. Uh -huh. There we have new in the shop at the Mirage Sweet Williams. William, that's very pretty. Oh, I like William. That. Yeah. Sorry, Sweet William. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah, that's a very pretty color. There we have here. Oops. Uh, oxygen at Tommy Ranch. Mm -hmm. This is perfect for like any Christmas pattern you want to stitch because it's like that light blue, like a snowy pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reds, reds and greens will really pop on that light blue. Ooh, this is pretty. And there we have here at Tommy Ranch Mellow, Mellow Stone. Yeah. It's almost like a peach. It's got a little bit of undertones of a peach. Hmm. I think. I don't know. Kind of. I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't see no peach in there. Off-white, kind of? 
I'm sorry. I don't see no fish there. I oh, I can see something. <laughs> You're right. I, I, I wow. I do yes, know, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do know color. I'm wrong. <laughs> You're right. It's a little fishy when you see it in angle and yeah. Ah, uh, wish I can. Yeah, you can see. That's it, you know it. This, this is wow. just happens to be one of those colors that does not show up well when photos are yeah. taken or when you show it on camera, but it's very pretty. I love this one. This one is Water Stone yep. from Atomi Ranch. See, it's got a little bit of greenish gray yeah. modeling in there. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one. We have here. This is Atomi Ranch em Embellish. Bellish. Yeah, this is a Lugana. It's more of um, a beige. Oh, uh, oops. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Trying to hold it. There you go. More of a beige. That's that's it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at the last one. Ooh, ooh look at that one. And the last but not least is a Tommy Ranch Storm. Storm. Nice gray. Like you can see Santa in a like a sled sleigh ride or something like that you could do that on that snowmen would look cute with the little snowflakes and stuff like that mm. or as as my default halloween would always look great on this of course all right so that's the fabric that's new and back in the shop yeah and we have I need one of those so we have the last two uh, patterns in the Amy Brooken stitch along, the Jingle All the Way stitch along. Here is number nine. And they, it, so number one has all the, what the color symbols are, but number nine, you have to use the, the graph in one to know what the colors are. And it also comes with all the beads that's needed for this segment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll pop in after we show these, I'll pop in a picture of what the whole piece looks like together because she was sending it out every other month, two pieces. And here's number 10, the final piece of this cool little pattern. And it's got little um, jingle bells. I wanna, I wanna that, that go. Paper here is gone. Yeah, I don't know where it goes. But this is. No little jingle bells. Jingle bells. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. These are fun little things. This fun little one. And then, so those of you that 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 do that get nine and ten, if you buy both nine and ten, uh, we haven't. We, you'll get one of the free um, little tags, freebie. little freebie from Amy. So, so she had this for everyone that did the sal with her. Mm. So if you signed, if you're if you're in that was in the automatic. You got this already in your order when we sent the invoice. But we had enough for other people who were only picking and choosing. That's cute. That'd be fun for like, uh, if, if you, I always, I always think handmade uh, gift tags would be cool on a package, but then you think about how people go crazy opening up things. You're like, oh, be careful with the tag. <laughs> All right, so here is, oh, we've been finishing a lot of these series lately. This is the finished part five of Erica Michaels quilting ABCs. So this was the last um, piece. So basically you, she, each uh, part, you got a piece of this big pattern to stitch it in um, as a stitch along. And then also in each pattern when they were released, there was an additional pattern that you could do as a pop out standalone, as she called it. So, oops. So this is the was the final part of that pattern. And what is that? And then the next one here is the series, the Beach Boardwalk series. This is the Saltwater Taffy Shop. This is number six. There's one more left in this series to because it's a seven part series. So we're getting close to getting all our series done this year. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. And now we have Jan Hicks, her latest patterns. And this is uh, Florgraf, Flor, 
Ward Raffiga. Number two, Iris. Wow, That's I heard that. Really pretty. And what Jan is doing with this series is she's using um, two um, cottage garden threads. So if you're in the club, you may have these colors or you may not. I'm not sure if these were part of the monthly selection. But the, here's the two colors that the flower is done with. Uh, fairy dust and coral cove. Actually, I believe fairy dust was, was out of, um, was retired and this pattern brought it back out of retirement. So, oh, look at that nice peachy color. Oh, I wonder if you could put that on that peachy fabric. No, a little bit less. Too much? Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Mm -hmm. So these are the threads. These are the we two can threads. be in. Oh, the peachy. <laughs> yeah, the one that barely. Uh, it's barely there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I know what you're talking. This one. There. Yeah. And when I'm, so you say peachy and see this other one. Yeah, this one in this fabric can be. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'm barely getting it there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Oh wow, very pretty. Okay, you get those on there. Yeah, because they show up. It gives a nice, not too much, you know, it's not overly modeled and it's very nice. Yeah. And then also this is the last one in the series of her vintage Christmas alphabet. I know a couple of people have reached out to me, but um, I think they might've reached out in Messenger or messages on Facebook because I couldn't find any email who it was that was waiting for this last one. So um, this is the last one. Oh, uh, is it it's letters? Uh, X, Y, and Z. And this whole series used basically three colors. Um, so it's so it was not a lot of different colors in the series. Very pretty. Yeah, very cute. Um, this Oops. one is a, this one is very, look at the colors of that. It's very cool. This next one from Jan is called Colors of Mexico. Mm. And the model was stitched with... Too busy. Oh, but it's so pretty. I guess I have that there. Yeah. So the the model was stitched with Vicky Clayton um, hand-dyed silks. We have those on order. <coughs> so we'll have the thread pack in a few weeks or so. And we'll post it. We'll show you guys when we get it. Uh, but also on the chart, there is, if you not, don't want to use silks, there are other colors that are used. Um, there's, of course, the DMC conversion, and then there's cottage, um, there's classic color works, gentle arts, and weak style works. So, I mean, so there's a, she gave three different uh, versions of colors to use to get the similar look. I thought that was very, very nice. Okay. Ooh, this one's, this one's I so love that yeah. one. This is from Little Robin Designs. This is oh. Christmas at Grandma's, number three in the series. I go oh, number three in the series? Yeah, we got the other two already. Oh, I want that one. So you can make these as little ornaments. Yeah. Oh, this would look good on that blue. Look at that. That oxygen color would look good. With yeah. That. Yeah. Just a hint, a little bit of blue. That's what's cool about the Atomic Ranch fabrics is they're not overly modeled, you know, distracting. There's some modeling, but it's not harsh, I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we have another uh, one. This could be for me. <laughs> yeah. The... I'll go buy this one. Okay. All right, so the next one here from Little Robin is called Christmas Feather Tree. So she's got, this is, I know she's got a Halloween one. I thought she had a patriotic one, Easter one too. She's got a couple of these feather trees. They're very pretty and just a little bit. So you could do, so like if you did all of them, you could pop it out into like a um, seasonal display, which would be fun. Okay. Oh no. What? I see something, I like it. Okay. Uh, we need to take a break. Melvin. Okay. We're back, we had mail, and so we have more things to add to the shop. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's get back to, we were getting ready to show you the uh, first um, fabulous house from Cottage Garden, 
the new series. And this is first one is Santa's house. It's very pretty. Mm, oh my gosh. Yeah. That love, is the series. That's the new the, series. I, I, I was say, oh my God, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love the series. Yeah. <laughs> but I, there's good. You go the, like next, in the, stock. the next one is the castle. So I, I can't wait to see. And you oh, know, they do such good work with these. That house is gorgeous yeah the peppermint house so yeah. i call it i don't know it's i don't know it looks like a peppermint house to me but it's Where so is it? santa's house santa's house okay yeah santa house santa's house i love it yeah i love it i have that it. in my i, I have that for it. me to stitch so <laughs> okay i'll yeah. let you stitch it because it's bigger i know you could be done all right so these just came in um uh, we had someone reach out to us and said they would they're missing some of these in their their collection so they wanted uh so we reached out to heart and hand the designer and these are still were still available so we got some for her and some for the shop this is the joyful journal journal uh january so it's a little little january one so super little cute guy one of the you know where you pop them in and pop them out for the holidays and this one is Joyful Journal, March. I wanted this one. I, I've i seen this stitch before in other shops, and I always, oh, I like it, I like it. Because look at the shamrocks. And I could put my birthday in there, too. So that's cool. Oh, there's the February one. So there's March. Right. And then here's August. When oh. you say there's February, is here. Oh, we, but we didn't get it. But you we say it, but you're not sure. Oh, I'm sorry. And then so here's August. So we got your birth, my birthday, and then your birthday. Mm. Now August. Why in Orca? A whale. I know that. A whale. Because <laughs> because you tell a whale of a tale. Oh okay. You know what that is? No. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble now. So be mad at me. Okay. So here is August the whale. He's so cute. And then, uh, then here was uh, just a sneak peek of what September would look like, because it's about school. But, and then, oh, and this is the other one I liked with the little sled going up in the. Oh, this is Joyful Journal, uh, December. Isn't he cute? Super, super cute. Okay. That's my that's my thing with the series. I always like onesies, twosies of the series. So I make my own series. This one is called Magic. Ooh, and it comes with the, oh my God, look at the beads. Um, this one is uh, We Won Magic. Little black cat. Isn't that cute? We Won Magic. And coming with the beads, mm -hmm. they look like the beads are the eyes. Uh, I think it's here in the, in the garland on the side. See. Red and green. The little stars. Oh, okay. Got a number. Yes. A little, yes. little star somewhere. Yeah. Ah, uh, cute. And this is We Won. We Won Snow Woes. Look at that. The little snowman. And it comes with the little buttons that go with it. They cut them off. They're like, whoop, cut them off right there. That's cute. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this is Hot Off the Mail Truck. This is Lou Who Stitches. Her, it's folk art Christmas tile. Isn't that cute? That's very cute. And it's stitched with um, DMCs. That is pretty. You could put it like this. You could do four of them together and, and change the colors out if you wanted to. It's pretty cool with the square. Yeah. I like that. Oh, I love this one. This one is so pretty. This is called Pennsylvania Christmas Deer, but you guys know it has it should it's on red, but it should be on green because then it would look like Ronnie the Reindeer sweater, would, uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like the, yeah, the Ronnie yeah. the Reindeer sweater. Uh, yeah. And then, so so she's got something here. I guess it was originally stitched white on white. Wow. Wow, that's hard, but that's really pretty too. If you wanted to. Try that, wow. But that just shows you that you could change, you know, you're just stitching the white thread. So you can pick out any pretty Christmassy or winter fabric. A blue, a navy blue would look pretty. 
This is beautiful. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, I like more in white than red. Really? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know, but what do you think, it guys? It looks very elegant, doesn't it? On the white, it looks and very the elegant. the white looking so like, rich, elegant. Like lace. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> that one white. All right. And then, so here is um, from Madame Chantilly. This is called Nose Up, Reindeer, and Bunny. They're like little stamps. Like little Christmassy stamps. That is super cute. And this one, oh, I love this one. This is called Christmas. Yeah. Look at that. You got everything that, okay. You can't, I gotta show the back because up under the birdhouse, you guys know what's under a birdhouse, right? It's a cat and the cat's playing with Christmas lights. So that's typical of cats. They're gonna get the lights and they're gonna play around the birdhouse. That this, one is cute too, the white Christmas. Yeah. The letters Christmas and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all done with DMC, so it's very <laughs> easy, easy to do. Yeah. And then this is this is back in the shop because we had a couple people asking for it. This is the from the Blue Flower Moonlight Sampler. Look at the Moonlight Sampler. Yeah. So I don't know if there's I don't know if there's a group of people getting ready to stitch it or it's just one of those patterns that all of a sudden people are asking for. <laughs> mm. I always feel like I'm left out. I was like, what's going on? All right. So these are these were originally ordered. So we would have them back in October so people could do their dark stitching in October. But um, Wichelt had other ideas, so we got it in December. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we are still waiting on the um, the reindeer from Nor Corbett. Um, I have them on order, they're on back order. So once they get in, we'll post them and show you guys. This is Minerva. She's pretty. All right, and then, you know, this is the, oh, I love her. This is Gwen. Look at that green dress. Oh, my Lord. Mm. I don't know how to, because I like my witches to have the green skin. So I, I don't know if, if I could do the green skin with the green dress. That's why I haven't stitched her yet. Electra, I have her stitched already, too. She's very cool. Do I have any of these still up? Oh yeah, Electra is, oh, she's right above the clock. You can't see her. Mm -mm. Okay. Ooh, oh, this was not Halloween, but oh my gosh, she's so cute. This is the Rain Queen. Look at that. Very pretty. Love those colors. I have stitched this one. This one is the Berry Collector. That's the one I did in a triangle, in a diamond frame. She is one of my favorites. She's over here somewhere. All right, and now we have, we're back to witches again. This is Eva. Look at her, wow. She's fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Eva. Oh, is that yeah. witch? Yeah. yeah, I changed her hair from black to orange when I did her. Yeah. Uh, this one is Xenia. Oh my God, she's so cool. When I did her, I did her skin one over one, and it felt like I was doing that leg forever in a day because it was like it kept going and going. Here is the last one, Raven. Raven. Oh, she's. I think. I, yeah, I did her too. All right. Now we have the last group of charts. These are the silhouettes. So this is called Claire. So it's all one color. And then there's one um, Karen Water Lilies, and it's just 310 and Karen Water Lilies. And then a couple of beads in Krynik. So very cool. And, uh, okay. She's like, to me, she looks like a dragon witch or something. No, I'm looking where the beads go, but this beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then here's wow. her sister, Evan, Evan Nora. I love it. I have both of these started. I just need to get to them. Evan Nora. They're not very big. They're like a little eight by 10. 
You already started? I started both of them. Oh. Yeah. And this is Witching Hour. She's got blue skin. Or like a purple skin. Very cool. And then here's her. So she's lounging, drinking with books behind her. And her sister is reading the books. Her sister is Spellbound. I like this one. They look, they're definitely companion girls with her bat wings. And for those of you who are waiting, it's back in the shop, Afternoon in the Mountains. This is Afternoon in the Mountains by my favorite designer to say. Ronnie, please say <laughs> the name of the designer. Les Petit Croix. Yep. Very cool. I don't know how to pronounce it right, but don't say it. Well, you're saying it better than I would. That's all that matters. <laughs> and then we got these back in the stock. Uh, as most people are getting ready, they're planning their 2024 schedules and what they're going to do. So um, here's the 2024 book of days. Uh, it's basically um, a calendar, a planner. So this is what it would look like inside. So you got little blocks of days and stuff like that. So it's ideal. So we, every video we put in the drop down, we put the designer focuses. So we have the designer focus for all of 2024 already listed below. So you could go in in your book and write down what designer focus is for that month. Or like, I believe uh, Caroline is doing, no, who is it? Um, Whipco. Whipco is doing their, uh, already released their plans for 2024, I believe. Uh, well, there's Caroline, a Caroline, no? Caroline is doing something else. She, her, her magazine monthly challenge, she does a new one every month. Um, I'm trying to think oh. of all the floss tubers with all the different things that they're doing. But this is perf this is why you get the book. So you can write it down in the column of what floss tuber is doing what. So you know what which one you're why you're doing this or that. Like Stitch Mania. I know there's a lot of people still doing Stitch Mania because it's, it's ingrained to our our psyche where you do 15 new starts for the fifteen first 15 days of May. So that's always fun to keep up with those. And then you can say what which one you did last year. They're still doing that? But yeah. the group disappeared. The group is gone. But, but hey, Stitchers, if we like something, we're going to keep doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's it's fun. If you've got the stuff, why not do it? Yeah. Start it. Get it together. So that is all that's new in the shop. Um, at the end of this video, we will be doing our drawing because mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank Kesslin for uh, donating five charts for you guys to um, to win. Yep. And we did the drawing at, at the end of this video. And um, so these are the charts once again. This was for the birds. Yeah. And the drawing is for the people who comment in that video. Yes, you had to comment on that particular video. Yes. And this is a Dear Christmas. And then we got Hello Winter. And then the last one was Spring Postcard. Oh, sorry, that was Winter Postcard. Where oh, I was reading. I was reading the words. You were reading the wrong. I was words. reading here, but it's supposed to be reading up there. <laughs> yeah, we all do that. Winter postcard, and this is spring postcard. So we've already. You'll you'll see the winners at the end of this video. Um, remember if we called your your YouTube name out as a winner, and we make a comment on your video, you are required to get in touch with us to give us your address so we can send it to us because we have two other people who have yet to contact us from our previous drawings. And um, we're going to have to do drawings again when we get ready to it because I'm yeah. not going to go back through Let's those go, videos. Is going it? back in the... I'm not going to go back in that video. And then we do the... Next time we do a, a uh, drawing that shares coming out. Yeah. All right. All right. So you want to talk about the shop? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but well, the say? people in uh, in Facebook know already that Monday, I'm exhausted. Monday, Tuesday, and part of Wednesday, I'm working in the shop. 
with the my, building with my dad and i was in there for a little bit yeah gary was there a little bit but i was running things here so i was going back and forth yes and remove all the ceiling and some doors and some cabinets mostly cabinets. mostly stuff that they left in there him, yeah. and, him and my and, dad cleaned out and cleaned the trash oh my gosh yeah. was heavy today they put an insulation i have pictures of me working in the in the, in the building and i have a little video this morning when mm -hmm. they are spraying the insulation when he got insulation all over his phone and have appointments with air conditioners uh appointments with uh contractors mm -hmm. yeah and uh there is it's in process yeah it yeah. it it's fun it's it's exciting um you know people's like we've been people's been asking what's the time schedule we don't we know. really don't know until we get to a point where we can f feel like we were we're there this is just the beginning yes um and there has been questions what will happen with the online shop the online shop will continue it's going to be continued running out of the house the brick and mortar store is another uh facet of our business yes. so um and we'll still be doing our clubs and our everything will be the same, the same in the website it's just adding one more one more um, branch branch <laughs> yeah to the tree yeah and my uh, sewing room will stay in the same place too. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing the bags from here. Um, yeah. I, it's nothing, nothing will change. No. Yeah. Gary will go be here and go be there. And yeah. And I'm we'll, going to be here and go be there and there. Yeah. And we are, we are going to, we are going to have like maybe two nights a week where we're thinking of doing possible stitch nights. Well, as plans. We know, yeah. we know. Possible. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. said possible. <laughs> yeah, but I'm waiting for the building to be done before I'm planning yeah. things like that. Because I my goal is to finish the construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one time the construction is finished and we have a done the, all that. Yeah. But we got the tables and the chairs and the chairs. Yeah, yeah. We buy two tables and they are ready here. We we say we assemble on ourselves because for the storage they come in in the boxes and we keep in the boxes and yeah. But they are here ready, the chairs and the tables. Yeah. So, so it's all the little things is all exciting. So instead of it's kind of like making a, a mystery box. It's yeah. a, it's a bigger mystery box. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it is a big mystery box, isn't it? <laughs> You see me yawning is because my body is tired. Yeah. Last week I was in pain for my shot. Well, this week both arms are pain for carrying and pushing and So he took so he didn't go to the building today to work, but he took the day off. Took no the day off. Yesterday and today. He took today off and he played in the yard and put mulch down. That's his idea of relaxing. No, I have <laughs> no. I had to do it. I got it thirty bags of soil because mulch, soil, oh. and there uh, because well, people before us they cut trees in the in the in the jar, and now it's holes in the jar. Mm -hmm. And when the people passing the lamor, they they mess it up the areas. And I'm buying me 30 bags of soil for cover all the holes. What is the soil called? Topsoil. Topsoil. Mm -hmm. And then I cover all the holes. And then I'm buying me 60 bags of mulch for my flower beds, the new ones, and supposedly the old ones. <laughs> Not well, enough. Well, <laughs> I don't have enough. I'm putting the 60 bags only in the new ones and one old one all the front flower bed need mulch mm -hmm. and i'm counted today and i need 30 more bags <laughs> and i say they can stay that way for now yeah <clears throat> yeah but this one i'm doing yesterday and today working mm -hmm. in the yard because i'm finished what i was doing I, i'm gonna start early in the morning you know guys i wake up by 3 3 30 in the morning wait and i'm finished my bags I'm working in my bags, 
Monday, and there uh, by what nine and stop working in the bags and I'm running to the building. Mm -hmm. There Tuesday the same. Tuesday I'm finished at the bags, mm -hmm. and I say Gary, I'm going to work in the building, and you press the bags. Well, yesterday I'm putting my alarm for go working in the yard. I can't get out of bed. I get out of bed with Gary, 7 a.m. Yeah. And this morning, I put it on my alarm again for 6 o'clock. Turn it on the alarm and keep going. When somebody come in and say, Good morning, Sadie. Here is your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Long time he no make coffee in bed. And I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is all my week. I am big running, 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 yeah. running. It's it's there's a lot going on and it's exciting, but it it's it you can see you can see that that shining star in the end at at the end. It's of the too line. far away. <laughs> yeah, luckily it's not a train coming at us. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's I, the closer it gets, the more exciting it's going to be. The harder it's going to be to to really focus. But uh, we yeah. are. We are uh, enjoying it. It's going to be, it's a great adventure. And we really enjoy all the comments in, in the Facebook group and on here for the support. And uh, we do look forward to seeing all of you guys as you drive north and south to come, come by. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's going to be the, the best part is to be able to meet and spend time with everyone. Yes. And uh, we, after the, the video of the drawing, we put a little bitty video and some pictures there. From the shop. working. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, so what that we is have all we have. Tomorrow the back sale. Yeah. And that's it. Yep, that's it. Yep. See, nice short video. So thank you guys for spending some time with us. And hopefully we didn't ramble too much, but we we're excited. Yeah. Bye. Bye yeah. Love you. All right, everyone. So we're getting ready to do the drawing for the charts that were donated by Kesslins, and um, and thank you, she her thank you to us and to you for supporting her charts for the Designer Focus Month. All right, and the first one we're gonna do, we got the video here. We're gonna fetch it. We're gonna look for a keyword, and the keyword is the first one is bird. We had 38 comments, so we're gonna pick a winner. Okay, the first, the winner is Country Gal 854. So we will make a comment on your comment. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, this is not for the drawing. This was something else. Okay. I must not have picked a good word, so we will try another one. She is not the winner because she didn't put the, the word bird in for the drawing. She was talking about blackbird. Okay, let's pick another winner. Oh, there we go. So the winner is Jackie Muck, 2832, and her comment is, the bird pattern is beautiful. So Jackie, we will make a comment on your comment, and you need to get in touch with us with your address. Okay. And we gotta go back here, do our video again. Oh. They don't make it easy, do they? <laughs> Let's fetch, filter, keyword is summer. one we had 21 comments so we're gonna pick a winner and the winner is mm, uh, let's see it's m-a-r-j-a-k-r-a-a-i-j-9-3-2-5 and her comment is bird summer deer winter 
So she won the summer pattern. Okay, and now we're gonna pick another winner. And the next one is deer. And we have 39 comments, so we're going to pick a winner. And this one is Heather Ellis, 13. Uh, and her comment was bird, deer, winter, spring. So she's won the, the deer pattern. Okay. And now the next one is winter and keyword is winter we had 36 comments and pick a winner and the winner is linda hollingsworth 2495. Her comment is bird, summer, deer, winter, spring, and she will be getting the winter pattern. Okay. And the last one is filter is spring. And that one is 27 comments. And the winner is Zook717. And she says her birthday is in spring. Okay. So that is our five winners for the Kesslin's uh, pattern. So thank you everyone for supporting Kesslin during her designer focus month. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Now the insulation starts, the first process of the Garonis fishery. Oh, this is a mess. All that has to be cleaned. That is the boss. Yeah.